Sokolov takes the pass from the point. Malik had him nicely set up, but it was just turned away behind the net of Vela. Big Welcome to the Wolves fan Mississauga. review. Hello, everybody. My name is Jim Stefanko, and this is episode seven of the Wolves fan review. So last night, the Sudbury Wolves traveled to Mississauga to play the Steelheads. And on a personal level, I'm a little bit aggravated because the OHL Live membership that I pay for so I can watch the Sudbury away games was not playing the game in Mississauga. But I'm not sure if this was an OHL live issue or a Mississauga issue, but the brief dismissive reply that I got from the OHL live tech support just kind of aggravated me a little bit more. So when me and my buddies who came over to watch the game finally realized that we would not be watching the game tonight, we decided we were going to throw the game on the radio and have a bonfire at the same time. But the game was not broadcasted on the radio until about five minutes into the game maybe more but my phone kept going off with notifications mississauga goal Ugh. mississauga goal sokolov goal yes blake murray scores okay we're all tied up now a lot happening i wish i could watch the game and finally the radio broadcast comes on mississauga goal Ugh. And that's how the first period ended, Mississauga up 3-2. to two. So by the time the second period gets started, we have our fire going in the backyard, and it's really difficult for me to just pay attention to what's happening in the game. I mean, having the game playing on the radio is awesome for people who are just kind of cruising in their car, or just casually listening. But for me, who wants to try to describe stuff play for play, it's not easy for me to try to use somebody else's description of what's happening. And this was the majority of my notes for the second period. Stuff happens, Mississauga scores 4-2. So yeah, soon after that, again, it's hard to really tell what's going on exactly. From the sounds of the broadcast, it seemed like Sudbury actually had a lot of control in this period as well. And after what sounded like a very exciting series of events, Zach Malik made a great pass down to Dawson Baker, and he put it in for his first goal of the year. That's how the second period concluded, 4-3 to three, Mississauga. During the second intermission, a buddy of mine who had actually taken a road trip down to Mississauga to watch the game sent me a text message, and he had just mentioned how much of an awesome game this was to watch. Thanks for rubbing it in, Andy! And I forgot to mention that at the end of the second period Michael Pazetta had taken a penalty and now, moments into the third period, Rhodes had taken a delay game penalty. Now it's 5-on-3 for Mississauga early in the third. And on that 5-on-3, it sounded like Jake McGrath made a series of three amazing saves to keep them in it. But moments later, Mississauga managed to bury one. It is now 5-3 to three for Mississauga. There are only a few seconds remaining in Michael Pazetta's penalty at the time of the goal, so he came out of the box, but Rhodes was still serving the remainder of his penalty. We managed to kill that one off, and minutes later, Subri goes on the power play. And on that power play, apparently Sokolov crushed somebody. I wish I could see it! And then, to make it worse, we get faked out by the commentator. Sokolov, cross ice to Lajeunesse! Big one-timer! And the shot is wide. Ah, oh, come on! And now with five minutes and 17 seconds left in the third period, the puck gets back to Cole Candela at the blue line. He just rips a shot on net and it gets past the goalie. We are down five to four in the last few minutes of the game. And with about three minutes left in the game, Mississauga takes a roughing penalty and we go on the power play. From the sounds of it, there were some good chances, but not too many shots on goal. The penalty expires and the Wolves pull McGrath. But unfortunately, Subri could not convert a goal with the extra attacker and we fall to the Mississauga Steelheads five to four. So between listening on the radio and the messages I was getting from my buddy, this actually sounded like a really good game. And although they lost, it's a game I really wish I would have been able to watch. And if somebody could clarify for me whether this was a Mississauga thing or an OHL thing, I would just like to know why I wasn't able to watch this on my OHL Live membership. So our next game is Friday, October 13th, where the Sudbury Wolves are back at home to play the Ottawa 67s. And it will be broadcasted on television. And don't forget, I'm also giving away two tickets to that game. All you have to do is go to my YouTube page, Wolves Fan Review, scroll down to the post about me hitting 100 YouTube subscribers. Like and share that post and you'll be entered to win. And for a second chance to win, you can go to youtube.com slash wolvesfanreview. 
click the subscribe button and that'll give you a second entry. So I hope you all have a very happy Thanksgiving weekend. My name is Jim Stefanko. This was episode seven of the Wolves Fan Review. We'll see you again after game eight. Hometown Steelheads who find their first win of the regular season. Oh, so the game's over.